Howdy! Danny Chrysler is here. Today we have that ball bearing bought at a scrapyard for a few pennies. We can make something out of the balls, <laughs> but the most precious part, I suppose, is the outer race. The steel used to make bearings is actually not shitty, it's quite fine. And it's pretty rad and awesome to make a knifey out of it. So let's get down to it. In my Russian video about a gas forge I recently made, I roasted this outer race and let it cool down inside. Now the metal is soft. It has no inner stress, so we have just to cut it on one side to unbend it. It is important to hold it tightly, so that hot piece of shit wouldn't fly somewhere where I keep paint thinner or other flammable crap. Let's warm it up once again and then we can smith it. I found a piece of a rail and thought about kind of borrowing it, but it seems like it wasn't wide enough. I need something more radical. So we're gonna use the same DIY anvil I made a year ago. We hammer the outer race until it's as straight as possible for a workpiece. Smith it while the workpiece is like crimson orange. In 10 minutes, we get a straight kinda workpiece. Let it cool down and stick it in a milling cutter to get rid of all these humps and bumps from the blade side. Actually, we could do it with a file, considering the metal is soft and flexible like Morty's ass. Now we strengthened the blade, cut out all the waste, it turned out to be quite long. Let's cut some of the metal to make the blade sharp and cut it on the other side to make a tang. Sure, we could have hammered it, but it's too long. However, I could have made two knives out of one outer race. And now let's get down to the most interesting and the longest part. Stock removal, of course. That's how the knife is born. Well, at least it starts to look like a knife. Before hardening, you can even work with a file, but the angle grinder is faster, of course. Don't worry if you overheat the workpiece because the heat treatment is up ahead. The outer race is fancy because of its figuration. It has a wedge-like cross-section, so I think it's easier to make a chisel grind blade out of this workpiece. So only one side would be sharp, like on a chisel. You can use a rough rotary file or a flap wheel even with finest grain. It'll be easier to polish if you want to. I actually don't like the S shiny knives. They have to remain kind of DIY. Like a shiv. Let's keep working on it. I would have used a belt grinder now. I'm sure gonna make it someday. But after a dish shaped sander, which overthrew me lately, I'm going to make a video about it. So we're done with the stock removal. Now it's just some crap a lot to deal with. Heat treatment. Screw all the info and the guidebooks. Let's consider it to be HRC 60 to 65. Yeah, like that. We're like shooting the moon, but actually that should be the right marker for the steel. Let's take the measurements from the steel grade guide. We have to heat it up to 840 degrees Celsius and it's 1550 Fahrenheit. Then cool it down in water to 200 Celsius, which is 400 Fahrenheit and then in oil to 80 Celsius, which is 180 Fahrenheit. Then leave it outside to cool it down. Fuck knows how to get the proper temperature in water, but I'll try to get it. Let's see how awesome I am. The knife's cooled down. It doesn't scratch the glass like everyone likes to check it out, but I can fuck up the file while trying to cut out the back. The tang can be cut out like lightweight steel, but the back won't. That's a good sign. Before dealing with it, we have to get rid of the inner stress of the metal. The machete I hammered before tampering fell down on the floor and fell to pieces like a fucking crystal dagger. Like Prince Rupert's drop, it just blew up. That's a fuck up, of course. To do the proper tampering, we need an oven. 
From the same steel grade guide, we choose the temperature mode. 150 Celsius, 300 Fahrenheit, and cool it down inside. Nah, screw it. I'll wait. I'll wait till the forge cools down to 150 Celsius, 300 Fahrenheit, and put the knife inside. You can take a nap or deal with some other projects. Next day, we have a combat ready knife. It's not an outer race, not a workpiece, but a homemade shiv. Now we have to put on a handle. I have a spare piece of Zebrano. Just one piece, don't know what the fuck to do with it, eh? So let's make a handle out of it. Use three different size drills to drill the step-like hole in the handle, so the cone-like tang would fit in perfectly. If you want to make a kinda eternal knife, you can strengthen the handle with some cuts for glue or epoxy. Sticking it into a handle, I suddenly punched out 200 millimeters of plywood. Whether I was shit-faced or the plywood was crappy, I don't know. I don't want to fuck around with the handle, later you'll know why. So without screwing around, we've made it look like a frozen poo-poo. It's a mighty weapon, fear it. Some sandpaper, two hours. Come on already, here's the result. The handle sucks ass and the shape of the knife is pretty shitty, but bleh, who gives a shit? Well, if you're into technology, check the next part of the video. The shit I like. Destruction. Make it, destroy it, that's my motto. First of all, I tried to make a hollow grind on a tempered knife. To be honest, it takes long time. Not centered hard alloy, but really slow. Then let's heat it up to kinda 100 Celsius, 212 Fahrenheit, for the momentary reaction with ferric chloride. I wanna see what tone we will get. You can see the difference now at the edge. And now let's break what we've made. I gripped our knife in a vise while trying to break it with my hand. Fuck no, considering the knife is 5 millimeters. Even when I hit it with a sledgehammer, it went like springy. That's awesome. But I still want to find out how the tempering went down, so I'll hammer the knife with a sledge corner while the blade is kept on the vise. Fuck me sideways, I remember the knives going shitways while trying to cut out a piece of wood. And that knifey makes me glad. So, to break it, let's take a meter long pipe. Okay, the tank gets crooked and the handle comes off. Well, that's obvious. I didn't temper the tank. Let's take it higher. Finally, let's check grains on the fracture surface. They are so freaking thin. I have no fucking idea and I have no microscope to tell you. Who gives a shit? But I dig the endurance, and considering the small grain, that knife would be good for sharpening. Therefore, knives out of ball bearing outer race are awesome. I'll get an awesome long lived. You'll get an awesome and long lived shiv. Thank you very, very much for watching. I really do appreciate the newcomers. Welcome and make yourself at home. If you want me to make a video on a specific topic, let me know about it in the comments section below. And oh, trust me, I read them all. Special thanks to Joel Creates for shouting out. Cheers, guys. See you later.